Our first question is from Will Schreiner. Is the ab wheel a gimmick or essential? Oh, ab wheel. Good old ab wheel. Well, that's, a, that's an extreme right there. Gimmick or essential? Yeah. I don't know. Essential? <laughs> yeah, I don't Neither. Know. Not, not essential. I don't think any fitness tool is essential. So I love, I'm going to tell you why I love the ab wheel, and I'm going to tell you why I hate the ab wheel, okay? I love the ab wheel because in terms of being in a muscle building exercise for the abs, it's one of the best ones I've ever used. The resistance is heavy. You really have to know how to use your abs, uh, how to use your abs properly in order to make it work. But if you do, it works the abs in ways that other exercises just don't. It's very, it's a phenomenal exercise. I love it because it's ten dollars. Yeah, that's also very cheap. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm yeah. saying? It's like it's one of the better tools for abs, and it's what ten bucks on Amazon yep. to get one of those things. Yep. Now here's the problem: if you don't do it right, it's a wonderful way to hurt yourself. Hundred and, and yeah. I'm talking about here's all the places you could hurt yourself: your wrist, your shoulders, your low back. Yeah. You could pull a hip flexor actually quite common that people hurt themselves with an ab wheel. Most people don't know how to use one properly. The way you use an ab wheel properly is you crunch your abs before you roll out. Then as you roll out, you slowly uncrunch your abs, but don't overdo it and then suck back in by pulling with your abs. If you just use your arms or your hip flexors, your abs are maybe stabilizing, but you're going to ask. You're asking for uh, you know a lot of trouble. That's one of the number one viral videos that we did on YouTube. It was the first viral video we ever did on YouTube uh, that we did like three years ago, maybe four mm -hmm. years ago. Mm -hmm. So you know, and again, uh, we've mentioned this a few times, but you know, remember anytime we talk about videos, especially if we've created the videos that. Jackie always links those in the show notes, so you can That's go. That's at to, Mind Pump Podcast, I believe. Yeah, mindpumppodcast.com. You can go there, and she links anytime we talk about this. So if you want to watch the video, but yeah, no, that's an incredible video uh, because I I remember even myself doing it wrong for such a long time. Yeah. And you know it makes a huge difference when you understand how to really rotate the pelvis before you go into into the ab and keep it and keep it controlled. And many people don't have the the strength and control to do a full range full range. Most so, people, because you not yeah. only have to have a really really strong core, you have to have strong arms, and you have to have good stabilization in just the upper body in general. Because your arms are involved in the exercise. Now they're not they shouldn't be the prime movers if you do it right. But if you're not able to stabilize yourself with your arms, yeah. you're going to roll out and flop and hit the floor. So I, I actually haven't had very many – in all my years of training, I've only had a few clients I've ever even done this with. Mm-hmm. 